Hello! In today's Archeo Scoop, my top three headlines are as follows. Headline number one comes from Zaltocan in central uh, Mexico. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm terribly sorry. Um, it is in and around this area that 150 skulls, or thereabouts, have been uncovered. They were covered in a, in a thin layer of crushed uh, stones and formed, it seems, a, an artificial island in the middle of what was once a shallow but vast lake. Uh, they represent, seemingly, the largest human sacrifice yet found from pre-Hispanic Mesoamerica and date between 650 and uh, 800, uh, and therefore uh, a time potentially of political turmoil following a time of uh, drought. Uh, it seems that uh, the power systems were breaking down in the area, and this may well have caused uh, people to be sacrificed. Uh, this is a fascinating find, and uh, for more on that, check out headline number one uh, in the information below. Headline number two comes from Pompeii, where finally, uh, and certainly uh, not too soon in my opinion, uh, the powers that be have decided to invest in a uh, protection program for Pompeii. Uh, this will involve restoration of some parts of the site, but also um, hopefully conservation elements as well. Um, this follows a seemingly unending list of, of headlines, bad headlines from Pompeii, highlighting its deterioration over time. Walls have been collapsing, the House of Gladiators entirely collapsed, and whole uh, sections of the town now are not, are not accessible to the public. One of the reasons it seems that um, this site type of action has been delayed is due to fears that money coming into Pompeii would be siphoned off by local criminal elements, including uh, the Mafia. But now it is thought that the risk is worth the potential reward, in as much as uh, more, um, uh, well, not only preserving the site, rather, but also more access to the site will, will result in uh, more money coming to the area, and therefore there'll be an economic benefit. So um, uh, the ec economics wins out every time, but uh, uh, thankfully, in this instance, uh, Pompeii will hopefully uh, see some sort of um, uh, halt to its deterioration of late. So for more on that, check out headline number two. It's just a short video, so uh, why not have a look? Headline number three comes from York Minster, uh, where it seems that they are bucking the trend uh, over the past couple, over the past week or so um, of people who want to have a piece of the Richard the Third cake. Uh, they do not want his remains to come to York. Uh, this is despite, um, apparently, during the King's lifetime, he expressed a desire to be buried in York, and also, in uh, the past few days, a petition uh, which has garnered more than 10,000 signatures uh, being raised by people in York uh, to bring the King to the area. Uh, why are they bothered? Well, apparently in the days after Richard III's death, uh, the people of York were very open in their mourning for the recently dead king, and therefore that there's an affinity which is felt, uh, it seems, still by the people of the city. Um, now, uh, the minister, as I say, are booking the trend by saying no thank you. Not only are they not interested, but also they have advocated that the king be buried uh, in, uh, well, the place where he is set to be buried, in Leicester Cathedral, not too far away from where he was found. So, a story which is bucking this Richard III mania. Um, now, actually, my top three stories today, along with all the other stories from the past couple of days, can be found in the information bar below. Um, and it was really hard to pick these three, because... There's also a story in there which is uh, the National Geographic exploring uh, this Richard mania, which has engulfed seemingly media in the past few days. Um, there's uh, a story which is also from York Minster, but this time with regards to Viking and Roman archaeology, which has been uncovered. Um, and also something highlighting um, <laughs> the, uh, the birthday, or what would have been the birthday, of Mary Leakey. She would have been 100 a couple of days ago, and uh, she, if you didn't know, found the Latoli footprints or the Tolly footprints, uh, which are crucial, uh, a crucial element in the the, uh, the history of evolutionary anthropology. So a wonderful find by a wonderful woman, and she would have been a hundred not that long ago. And um, so for all those news stories, including also as well, and um, people thinking of trying to dig up um, other people now, the Richard the Third's been found, other kings, and in this instance, I think Saint Edmund underneath the tennis court. Uh, check out the links below. Read to your heart's content. Have a great day, and until next time. Bye-bye.